Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Good topic today. Are you self-sabotaging? Because it's easy. Very simple. I have worked with a lot of patients for a lot of years. And I am seeing a pattern emerge again. And it kind of comes in cycles. So people will do really, really well. Now, whether they're dealing with addiction, and when I talk about addiction, I'm not talking necessarily drugs and alcohol. You can have food addiction, gambling addiction, uh, sex addiction, porn addiction, just anything that you're obsessed with, okay? So whether they're dealing with an addiction, whether they're dealing with being a perma victim, always wanting to play the victim card, whether they're dealing with trying to change their behaviors, their attitude, their outlook, whatever it may be, they will be doing great. Really proud of them, they're doing so well, and life will throw you a curveball, and you come to a crossroad. All you have to do is push through. Stay the course. You're doing great, you're doing everything you're supposed to do. You can't say, I need to do, because you're doing it. You're doing it every day, you're staying the course. But life will throw a curveball. And instead of staying the course, they are triggered. And they revert back to old behaviors. What I suggest when you're triggered, you're faced with something that scares the hell out of you. Maybe you're, you go into panic mode, kind of a deer in headlights. You freeze, your heart races. Grab a pen and paper. Write down what the trigger is. Write it down. Beneath that, list what exactly, in as much detail as you can, what exactly is scaring you about this trigger? What's the problem? We're just going to break it down step by step by step. Okay? So you have the trigger. You have what's scaring you about the trigger. Break it down further. What, what are the nuts and bolts of this? Once you break it down, you know exactly what you're dealing with. Most people are afraid of the unknown, the uncertainty. If you break it down, the unknown becomes known. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore because you know what you're dealing with. You know what you're up against. You know what you have to do. Okay. So that's how I like to help people deal with triggers. Identify what it is. Break it down so we know exactly what we're dealing with and why you're afraid of this. Is it a trauma from the past? Let's deal with that. What scared you about the trauma? Let's, let's get into it. There's no need to go back to bad behaviors. There's no need to self-sabotage other than that's your comfort zone. It's easy. It's comfortable. It's a known. It's a given. You know how that felt for all those years. You know exactly what to expect. You know exactly how to feel, the good, the bad, the discomfort. You know it. It's like putting on an old pair of shoes that are just falling apart, but they're comfortable. You really can't even walk across the room without them falling apart, but they're comfortable. That's the way this is. It's not healthy anymore. It's falling apart, but you're hanging in there. You're going back to it because it's comfortable. Let's not, okay? Let's stay the course. When the triggers come up, let's identify the trigger, work through the trigger, because once you identify it, once you break it down, there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. We've worked through it. It's no longer an issue. You faced your fear, and that's a lot to be proud of. So stay the course and don't self-sabotage, even though it's easy. And I know the future may look scary because there's a lot of unknowns if you're giving up an addiction, if you've determined to no longer be a victim. Because when people play the victim card, that's their get out of jail free card. That's their excuse for everything. That's their excuse for bad behaviors and bad attitudes. Well, but I'm a victim. I'm just learning. I don't understand. I've never gone through this before. How old are you? You've probably had these feelings. You've encountered this before. You just didn't, didn't deal with it appropriately because you played the victim card. We're not going to do that anymore. We're going to face everything head on. 
Stop playing the victim card. And it's so easy for people to do. It's so easy for an addict to go back to the addictive behavior. It's a given. It's a known. It's comfortable. It's not healthy. It's toxic. It's no way to live. You deserve better. You really deserve better. If you're trying to change behaviors, and it might not be anything big. It might be you're trying to have a better outlook. Maybe you, you know, have a tendency to be very pessimistic. Not, you know, you see the glass half empty. Somebody can say, oh, it's a beautiful day. Well, it might rain. Well, maybe so. That is one term I cannot stand is maybe so. Because it's a pessimistic term. Maybe, but yeah, probably not. And depending on the, the conversation, if, if somebody says, you look really nice, and they say, ah, maybe so, are you calling somebody a liar? That's how I take that term, and I find it very offensive if somebody says maybe so to me. So let's change our attitudes. Let's be optimistic. It's a choice, and it's a choice you have to make continually. If that's a behavior you're trying to change, it's hard. If you were raised in a negative environment where there, everything was doom and gloom, well, that's your coping skill. We have to change that. And it can be a very long, arduous process, but it's worth it because everything is not doom and gloom. But it's a matter of choices. No matter what you're dealing with, it's a matter of choices. If you decide to self-sabotage, it is a matter of choices. Do you want to go back to square one? Maybe for a lot of people, I've worked with them for a year or longer, and they are doing so well. They're almost at the finish line, and something will happen. Are they going to stay the course? Are they going to self-sabotage? The choice is yours. I have faith in you. You can do this. I'm right here to help you do it, and you know that. Don't self-sabotage. Don't go back to bad behaviors, bad addictions, bad thought process, just because it's easy. Just because it's easy doesn't mean it's the right thing to do.